Oh, there, guys. Who the hell's my ratchet wrench? Playing around with Deacon St. John, how have you been? Buzz, how you doing? Hey, Ricky, you there? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skizzle's gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh, hell. He's, he's depressed or something. Talk to him. No, I got you. I need help! Over here! Over here! Over here! Just run around with that! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Boozers, uh... I'm reloading! Boozers, uh... Hell, I don't know. He's, he's depressed or something. Hey, hey, hey! It's okay. Hey, hey, it's not safe out here in the shit. I know where there's a camp that... Where? Out here where? there ain't I'll nothing go. but murderers and drifters and raiders. I said that to Copeland's camp. As I mark that I might. Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Thank you so much. I thought I was gonna die in there. Tell him it was Deacon. They'll know. Stay off the main roads. Don't stop. Hey, Ricky, you there? I'm, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skiz is gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh, hell. I don't know. He's, he's depressed or something. Talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain and get his bike. Back. That's a long way to go on foot. Figure something out. Are, are you gonna cover for me or what? Yeah. Thanks, Ricky. Deacon out. Okay, Ricky, I'm near Eden Hill. Yeah, Drifter's still here. Can you handle it? Well, I guess we'll know soon enough. Deacon out. How many you got left? How many you got left? Come on, boys, that's all you got. Oh, is that 
it? No, oh shit, one more. Okay, I think that's all of them. Hey, Ricky, did you send some men to go out and get him? Yeah, he's a lot more cooperative all of a sudden. Evidently, our guys got to him just before a swarm. They offered to leave him where he was if you didn't tell him where the seeds were. Oh, so weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I really would have just left him there to rot. Yeah, you know what Iron Mike would say about that? Yeah, 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 I know. See you, Ricky. This is a Game Plus version, is it? Meaning I finished it once and I restarted it because I really like it. Okay, time to radio in and let Ricky know. Deacon, how'd it go? It's done. They won't be shooting up any more camps. Oof, thank God. I'll let Iron Mike know. You know, keep this up and you and Mike are gonna be best friends before you know it. Bye, Deacon. Use this. Deke, heard you tracked down Eric Lynch. Oh yeah, Mike, I found him. I want to thank you for not killing the man. We're gonna have a trial. You'll get a chance to tell his side of it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, too bad Campbell and Reed aren't allowed to tell their side. Hey, we got folks that'll be there, speaking on their behalf. And we got witnesses. It's the way we do things, Deke. Why don't you give him to me for five minutes? You'll have a confession. Thanks. We got it covered. Iron Mike out. down those boys, shot up the gate, and took off. Hey, Mike, yeah, uh, I found them, and they won't be coming back. Seems like it's getting worse. A lot of squatters and drifters we got coming through. No offense to present company. Okay. Uh, and yeah, Mike, it's getting worse. I don't know. Mike, I think it's like you were saying about tours. Always coming up here to California. I guess if I had the choice. Yeah, I'd rather be here than down there. the arm. O'Brien, oh, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. I told you there are people above me who don't want 
want us to know what's going on. I got too close. I almost got caught. You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's... It's gonna take time. I guess... You have to be patient. Yeah? Well, I don't think I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to... Place a tracker on their chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you want me to spy on the guy wearing the white space suit. Yeah, anything else? Yeah, try not to get your ass shot off. Your, uh, comm was still open before. Don't think of it as, like, being beating Tom. It's more like opposition research. Or Brian out. It doesn't matter what you call it. I'm the one that's out here with this team right now. with your suits Subject exhibiting the morphology of stage two infection. Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted, fingernails less claw-like, as if recently chewed. Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than... Hey, sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, the gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years, scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. Okay, okay, I get your point. This watch looks new. Really? So? So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on? Shit, I thought they were all...
Another subject exhibiting the morphology of stage 2 infection. Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted, fingernails less claw-like, as if recently chewed. Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than... Hey, sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, the gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years. Scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild. Someone's out there. To it. Okay, okay, I get your point. This Something watch looks new. Really? So? So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on? Shit, I thought they were all, you know... That shit crazy? Yeah, they are, but... Just as some late-stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, victims of stage 2 virus infections seem to retain some level of vestigial memory. Oh shit. No shit. Look at its clothes. They're almost clean, right? I mean, not clean, but most freaks are so caked with shit and piss. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, well, again, put a pair of pants on the baboon for two years. Jesus. You ever wonder why there's so many more freaks in areas where people used to live? Never thought about it. But yeah, I guess they do. Yeah. There might still be something very deep in their massively deformed heads that remembers what they once were. Jesus, you don't think they're aware of it. No, no, we've done the CT scans. They might as well be brain dead in human terms. What's that mean? Well, what it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay. Hey, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. What was that? O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher was we got female movement. or female. What? What? Why? <coughs> was it a man or a woman? Ah, uh, it was a woman and... No, I didn't catch her name.
mind. Also, something's going on. Man, ah! Ah! Yeah, run at him! Come on, look out! No! Oh! Yeah, kill him! <laughs> How's the arm? Uh, you know, it's about 50% there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little IPT over there. But seriously, though, it's like I can still feel my right hand, you know? Yeah, I think they call that phantom pain. Yeah, yeah, that's what Addy said. It, man, it fucking sucks. I feel pain in my finger joints, you know? Like, after a long ride, your hand gets gummed up. I like, go to flex it and... Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. Addie just wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic shop. Oh, wait, what? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. Something, Deke? Sorry, no idea what I'm doing. Deke, long time no see. Blair, how's it going? Good one. Um, okay. Now that's an upgrade. Uh, yep. Hey, come around more often. We miss you. Deacon, you there? Yeah, Addie, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary when you get a chance? Anything wrong? No, I just need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, okay. I wonder about the freaker sometimes, you know? Like, do they feel pain? Anything? No. <laughs> hey, haven't seen you around much lately. Thought maybe you'd gone up north without me. Jesse, no, we haven't gone up north. Boozer's, um, 
Uzer can't ride anymore. He's, uh, well, we're, we're, we're down at Lost Lake Camp, and I don't think that we're going anywhere. Jesus, Deke. Look, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I mean, I, I heard rumors coming in from the shit, you know, that Boozer was hurt or whatever, but I didn't know it was that bad. It was. Look, uh, the offer stands. When we, if we head north to Smith Rock, you're coming with us. You got that? Yeah, Deke. Sure. Whatever you say, man. Yep. This smells like rotten eggs. Getting used to it. Right now it's all we got. Hey, Deke. You stay safe, okay? St. John, I got a job for you. Hope. You want Manny to work on your bike? Only one way that's gonna happen. I gotta do runs for you. Yeah, I heard you. I need you to deal with a marauder camp near those burned out shacks along the Cascade Highway. You know where I'm talking about? Yeah, I know it. Radio me if you wanna know more. It smells like rotten eggs. Hey. What's up with you? Deacon St. John. Drifter camp along the highway. What else can you tell me? Not much. We followed one of our supply runs. Got a little too close. I sent a man to check him out. He never came back. You sent anyone to find him? Yeah. A man named Deacon St. John. Cope out. Gotta take a closer look. What do we got? You're mine now. This is it. All right, where? There you are. Where are you getting this shit for your camp? Tell me! How many people live there in the camp? How many? How many? I don't know. 
<laughs> How do you like that, huh? You having trouble breathing? Making it hard to talk? See you. I'm coming. Why you run? Sacrifice yourself, huh? What's Copeland ever done for you? Finally, Jesus. something's up. No more, no more. Just ah, shut up. I'm cutting you loose. What? What? You're not. Copeland sent me. Come on, get up. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. They were following us on a supply run. I didn't know what to do. Hey, shut up. Can you run? What? Yeah, yeah. Well, then run. Go. Thank you. I'll tell Copeland you saved my life. Bike, huh?
John. It's Mark Copeland and Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope, what's up? Just checking in. A couple of my men were up at the top of Leary Mountain the other day. So they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir, that's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Went shake too by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. I don't eat that again, Scripture. The Cope is all really fascinating, but uh. Now hold on, here's the fascinating part. I swear that old bike will. It's a lot like the one the loser used to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, dude. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Boozer? Lanny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. St. John out! Got good shit in stock today. Buzz, how's a camper's life? You go through a lot of this shit, yeah? Don't beat her up too bad. Okay. I'm here if you need me, man. Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> it wasn't much of a life, Addy. I... You're his friend. The only one he's got. Boozer's fine. He'll live anyway. Good to see you, Deke. Deke, Deke, Deke. <laughs> What's been keeping you away so long? Hey, Deke, let me get the gate. Nope. Is he alive? Barely. He's heading back to you on foot. I want to send someone there. I'll do that. Thank you, St. John. Go for now. Who's in there? out here or they're running field missions studying the freaks. No idea. Hey, I gotta get going. Schizo stopped by and said I'd be shoveling shit all day. How schizo they get shit? He 
Copeland, yeah, yeah, I'm here. Um... Boozman, how you doing? St. John? Look at the blast. Love it here. Later. Deacon St. John, come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Cope. Yeah, let me guess, you got a job for me. Okay, uh, I'll swing by when I get a chance. Deacon out. Hey, Addy, you there? Deacon, yes, I'm here. Hey, so, uh, I, I don't think that, that he's doing so well. I, I don't know, I guess I'm really worried about him. Yeah, me too. When he stopped by, he seemed, I don't know. Angry. Depressed. Look, I'll keep an eye on him. I'll, I'm gonna make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Uh, see what I can do. I don't know. You do that, Deacon. You don't mean a lot to him. Infirmary out. Deacon St. John. This is Copeland. I just wanted to let you know that Peaceful Lake appreciates all that you're doing for us made a difference in a great many lives. Someone's here. This is Radio Free Oregon. The hey, truth the shall set you Speak free. It. About a month before shit went down, I wrote in my newsletter, Farewell Freedom. I worked at Store a fire year's fire. worth of food and water. Because I knew, no matter what was coming, we were all nine meals from anarchy. I figured, if I could get Who a few people prepared, the ones who'd really listen, then maybe we'd survive when it all finally collapsed down on our heads. Not as many listen as I'd hoped. Now, those supplies are running out, and folks are going hungry. Remember the parable of the ant and the grasshopper? Well, us ants, who prepared and stored for future calamity, didn't... Okay, that's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost wh who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they were- No, goddammit, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance uh... was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling, do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Ah, uh, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. 
Well, look, I, just, give me the map. I'll go get the explosives and like, hey, people will. inside. What the hell is going you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me, how much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these days? No, huh? hold on. He's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day, what's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe mm. from marauders, thieves, and drifters. Such knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. Do you remember some? Both of you, remember, we are all part of the same camp. That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <laughs> now. Yeah. Now, in the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Oh, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing out black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know that the freaks come out at night. Okay, oh, yeah? come on, enough already! Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey. Look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> Told out to Torres and Evans. Deke, I guess I'm just making sure he's not gonna have some kind of accident down in that mine. Oh, Jesus, Mike, who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Hey, Deke. How you been? Blair, how you doing? Okay. I got all kinds of stuff. Hmm, that should work. Okay. <laughs> Don't be such a stranger. Where are we going? Lucky lad, know where it is? Yeah. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. Deacon, you there? This is Lost Lake Camp. Over. Yeah, Ricky. What's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Schizo and I are on a run for Iron Mike. I'll be back by morning. What's up? I just wanted to see when we could get out and fix that transformer. That hot shower is still calling your name? Something like that. <laughs> we'll be back by morning. Talk to them. Deacon out. Thought you were going to be waiting for me. I got sidetracked. So these belong to Mike's men? My men? But yeah. Torres and Evans. They weren't drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. It's because of why wouldn't you bring their shit back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. And Mike said the explosives are kept locked in strong boxes. 
Should be a set of spare keys somewhere inside the office. Fucking notes. Gotta be like a little something. We finally agree on something. Hey, over here. I think I can boost you on this roof. Ready? Yeah. Up you go! Got it. That's all of them. You okay? Yeah. Thanks for asking. There. Schizo! I got him. Great, great. Look around. Uh, see if you can find some flares. Wait a second. You didn't bring a flashlight? Yeah, but the batteries are dead. Shit's getting hard to find these days. At least ones that have any juice left. Flares. Schizo! I found a box of flares. Yeah, yeah, see if you can force open the door. I'll come in and grab them. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, hand them Hey, 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 I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes, I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Just don't lose them. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I got them. Let's head in. Right by you. See? It's just like I said. Looks like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. Here, push. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. There. Wedge it against that boulder. Got it. There. <sighs> Looks stable to you? Stable enough. Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was gonna be clear. I never said that, and I mean it. If there are any freaks in here, one shot will bring them right down on their heads. I heard you already. Jesus. Okay, first expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on this way. Right behind you. Ah, uh, shit, we're not getting under that. Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? A ventilation shaft? Map shows they started a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Yeah, back this way. Here? Yeah. Yeah, looks like they boarded it up. Doesn't look exactly stable. I thought I already said that. All I got is this. You got the flashlight. You had the honor. Maybe 
there's a reason that they never completed any of this expansion work. I mean, it seems like one stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. Uh, that doesn't seem so bad. Shit now! Come on. This way. What are you doing? What's it look like? You're dropping flares. Why? You got the map. This thing's a fucking maze. Gonna need help knowing which tunnels we checked. You go left here. Got it. Come here. What? These are men. Yeah. Every time I saw Torres, he had on this same damn vest. I kept telling him, wear bright orange, he's gonna get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter in here. Buddy lost the arm, blood out, and kept Taurus fed for a week. You ever resort to that? A few lines I haven't crossed, that's one of them. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Stand back. I'm not leaving him for the freaks. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. Come on, we can squeeze through here. Following you. That's a tight squeeze. You got this? Who sits on his ass all day in the camp? Oh, very funny. Come on. Okay, the first expansion area should be around this corner. If you're reading the map right. I'm reading it right. See? You still got the keys? Yeah, right here. Sorry, did you not believe me? Sure, I believed you. Come on. Maybe they put them all in one place. Let's go check the other one. This way. Let's double back. Make sure we didn't miss any side tunnels. Excuse me, hold, hold up, hold up. This doesn't seem right. What? What are you talking about? This isn't the way that we came in. What? You think these flares got up and moved themselves? Yeah, maybe I got turned around. Oh, now, wait a minute, God damn it! Th this is the main tunnel. What? It's the it's the main tunnel. You see the tracks? We weren't following any tracks on our way in. What the hell? But, but these are my flares, damn it. How did it? Oh, someone's fucking with us. Come on, this way. Hold up, hold up. Wait a second. Who the hell's in here? Come on out! Show yourself! Just guess who put that thing away. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is one shot. One. It's all it takes to bring all the freaks in these tunnels down on top of us. Well, I thought you said these tunnels will be clear this time. No. What the hell? Look out! Get a shot! 
Oh, God damn it! God damn it, it's got the keys! Shit! Where are you going? It's got the keys, we gotta catch it! Hey, what's that? God damn it, Schizo, it's getting away! Damn it! Shit, get back here! Come on, you shit, give me back those fucking keys! Oh, 
What would happen if you fired your weapon? What was I supposed to do? Throw rocks at him? Supposed to do is useless. Fucking listen to me. Next time, try this. Whatever. You're welcome. For what? For saving your ass. If you hadn't run off, my ass wouldn't need saving. <laughs> Are we ready to fucking finish this? Yeah, I'm ready. This way. Rose off. Addy said it looked like someone tried to burn his tax off. There's Rippers, wasn't it? You got a point, Schizo? Had a drifter come in. Word's gone out. Rippers are looking for two men. Mongols. Sound like anyone you know? Well, as you can see, I'm still wearing the cut. We're not hiding, Schizo. Carlos wants Boozer. He won't have any trouble finding him. But he's gonna have to go through me first. What'd you do to him? Gotta be something long before breaking the treaty. Long before I... You know what? I don't know and I don't care. Have I killed a few rippers in my day? You're goddamn right I have. And after what they did to Boozer, I'm gonna go right on killing the crazy sons of bitches. Yeah? And Carlos is crazier than any of them. You don't want to be on his shit list, bro. What'd I just say? I don't care. And I'm not your bro. Remember what I told Iron Mike? Carlos can go fuck himself. Hey, just looking out for you. You're one of us now, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Don't worry about me and Boozer. We can look out for ourselves. Bingo. Let me see. Ah, nice. This ought to make the old man happy. Shit's heavy. What are you talking about? You know the old man. Same with me. I got this. Got it. Thanks. He thinks that his treaty with the Rippers is gonna keep us safe. The thing is, they don't give a shit about any treaty. The only reason they haven't come down here in force is because they're too busy up north, hitting Copeland, the hot springs. Yeah, I know. I was there. So you know what I'm talking about. The Rippers are coming. And Iron Mike... He's just gonna let it happen. He's gonna let those bald-headed freak-alikes wash over us like a goddamn red tie. Excuse me, so you don't know that. So glad to see the light of day. Shit, there's something else we agree on. That's twice in one day. Hold up for a second. Someone out there. Hey, buddy. 
Someone's inside. Hey! What the hell? Riding out there! Oh. Sit in your pants! Come on now. We gotta find Marauders. the Marauders. Come on. Find him. Mister, my boy's got a little rambunctious. I admit All right. it. Alright, uh, split up. We'll here, surround you know? them. Got it! Watch your back! Shoot the asshole! I think that's all the bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. We gotta get that box of dynamite. Must have been the same assholes who parted out the bikes. Ride by and they see ours. Figured they'd make an easy score. I guess it wasn't as easy as they'd hoped. You know, <clears throat> I hate to say it, but we actually make a good team. Then don't say it. Hey, there's something I gotta say. When you and Boozer rode into camp and Iron Mike welcomed you back again with goddamn open arms, I thought it was another sign the old man was losing it. Going soft. Okay, what's your point, Scott? My point is that you and me, we see eye to eye. I get that now. You know, same as me. If Iron Mike don't wake the hell up, the camp's not gonna last another six months. Okay, still waiting for your point. Look, I know I've been busting your balls. We both know that. But a lot of people know what you've done for your friend, how you've been doing shit for the camp. Changes are coming, brother. When Iron Mike retires, let's call it, I say you and me, we step up and run the camp together. You and me. Run the camp. <laughs> That's really what you wanted to talk hey, to hear me, me about. Hear me out, goddammit. <laughs> Just listen to me a minute. Uh -huh. Look, I got a lot of friends on the camp council, and they agree. Most of them say the old man's gotta go. Yeah, it's bullshit because Ricky would never go for well, She's as soft as and the old Mike man. And he trusts you. Well, that's his mistake. One of many. Well, it ain't gonna be mine. Look, we all do things to survive, CSO. I get that. You remember how I said there's some lines I ain't crossed? Stabbing a friend in the back? That's one of them. Better one old man in the entire camp. You think about that.
Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deke and St. John to Iron Mike. Deke, you and Schizo, you find them? The explosives? Yeah, Mike, uh, we got them. Schizo's on his way back with everything we found. Listen, Mike, I gotta tell you. That's great. That's great! Now, we can't use them till we find some dead cord. You know that, right? I'll take a look through the files we got. Mike, listen to me. Schizo, he's up. Jesus, what now? You boys try and shoot your damn heads off again? No, Mike, but he, uh... Hey, he wants to run game. the camp, Mike. He told me... Him oh, hell, I know all about that. Remember, I told you already. Where's Boozer? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I thought he was with you. Yeah, he was, and then he, he took off. Some shit. Excuse me, what the fuck are you telling me? Get off me! Look, he grabbed a bottle of whiskey, he said he was going home. I don't know. You motherfucker, and you didn't even try to stop him, did you? Hey! We tried! <laughs> you gotta know when to cut a man loose. You gotta know when a man's done. Hey, Deke. You need something? Sorry, just one. Ricky, you there? What's wrong? Boozer went out, but he didn't come back. Shit. You heading up there? Uh, need help? No, I I'll find him. Boozer, you there? Boozman. Uh, yeah, Deke. Yeah, Deke. Oh, I'm here. Where the hell are you? It's, it's getting dark out. Where? Where? I'm at the farm. I'm at the, f the farm. Jesus, stay there. I'm coming to get you. Just, just stay here. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Piece of cake. I'm at the, uh, the farm. All right, here's the farm. This is where Ricky said the work crew was. Boozer! You there? Boozman! Damn it. Okay, here's the farm. Hey, where's Boozer? Who? Nah, no, there's no one here. Work crew's gone home for the day. No, he's still here. The, the big guy with one arm. Yeah, yeah, I know who you mean. He headed off that way, towards the old farmhouse. Thought he was getting a ride there. If you see him, tell him, tell him to stay here. Radio me or Ricky. Sure, man. Whatever. Boozer! You there? Who's man? Where the hell are you? Schizo said that he had a, a bottle of whiskey. Where would he go to drink a bottle of whiskey? One of these uh, farmhouses? I can always use this. Okay.
This has got to be it. Boozer! Are you in here? This looks like it. Good book to read. Whiskey bottle. Empty. Wait a second. Case of beer? Okay, let's take a look around. Which way? Still got this. Beer bottle, empty. Heading that way. Damn it. Schizo's right. He's heading home. He's on foot. He can't have gotten far. I'm gonna need my bike. Boozer! Boozman! Hey, Nick. <laughs> How's it going, brother? You said you were at the farm. I just left, and you are not at the farm, boozer. Uh, we... Oh! Oh, the other farm. Nick, I'm, um, I, I, I went to the other farm. You know, I... I found a sixer. <laughs> so, I thought I go for a walk, you know, like this walk. And the sunset. So, uh, I just walked to, uh, the other farm, you know? Oh, oh, McDonald had a farm. E I, e -I. Ah, shit. Ah. Jesus, Boozer, what are you doing? You gotta take a closer look. This is it. Boozer, are you in here? Booze man. Upstairs. Okay, another bedroom. 
Okay, let's see what's going on here. And another beer bottle. That's wet or oh, I'm not gonna ask. Boozer, where are you? Booz! I, I thought you were gonna come um, have a beer with me and take a walk. Boozer, just where are you? Would you look around? Did you tell me what you see? What's nearby? Give me a give me a landmark or something. I already told you. Oh, no, look at that shit. Look at what, Boozer? What do you see? The road. The roads, uh, wow, it's just, it's gone. Like, like somebody came and uh, just, like, whoosh, swept it away. The roads, gone? Oh, yeah. The, the, like, somebody came and just swept it away. Gone. I'm walking, and walking. And, and and now the road is just gone. Where where are you going, Boozer? Home. That's where I'm going. Home. Just stay right there. Just stay where you are. Get down. Get out of sight. Listen for my bike. I'm coming. I'm not hiding from no one. I'm going home. Dude. Home. Come on, Boozer. That's gotta be him. All right, where? Back on track. Boot prints, bingo. I'm gonna need my bike. I can't give him a ride without my bike. Boozer, you there? I'm getting close, I, uh, I followed your tracks. Just like you taught me, uh... Boozer, come on, man. Stay put, will ya? For a stroll. Hey, Dig. How's it going, old buddy? Boozer, where are you going? Oh, that's where I'm going, home. Oh, well, we can't go back to O'Leary Mountain. No, I'm not going to fucking O'Leary Mountain. I'm going to farewell. Shit, come on. We gotta get you. No. You wanna take a swing at me? Fine. Get in line behind them. Bring it! So this is it? This is how we're going out? Get out no, here, no, no, I don't think so. Huh, Boozer? Huh? Bro? Boozer? The nice year old lady was killed. What did I say to you? Huh? Oh, what did I say to you, huh? I found you halfway through a case of whiskey. You were gonna drink yourself to death. What did I say to you? You grabbed the bottle. And you chugged it. It was a lot of goddamn whiskey. And you told me that if I was gonna drink myself to death, you'd be right there with me. That's what brothers do. So like I said, Boozer... Is this it? Is this how we're going out? Let's get the hell out of here. Go, go, go! I'm going! Move faster, then. Ah! Cars! Rick, cars! I see him, Boozer! Not you like that! What's it, freak? Oh, I see him, Boozer! of them. Uh, we're gonna be okay. I, I knew. I knew it all along. 
Hey, hey, Deke. Boozer, listen. I just want to say thank you, man. I mean it. Boozer, uh... Just listen, goddammit. You came out here, and you saved my sorry ass. Again. I owe you, brother. I owe you. Got someone at the gate? No, no, Boozer. I owe you... All right, it's look. Taken. If it weren't for you, I, uh... I... You gonna be okay? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I hear a bunk calling my name. Yeah, Ricky, I found him. How is he? Well, let's just say that tomorrow he's gonna have one hell of a hangover. A hangover? Good. I'll remember that when I stop by to see him at six in the morning. Yeah, yeah, thank God. He deserves it. Deke, I'm glad he's okay. I'll be here if you need me. See you around. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Hey, Ricky, I, uh, I got a favor to ask. Yeah, what's up, Deke? Um, it's about Boozer's arm. Uh, I saw that hook that you made for him, and, uh, it's great, but, uh, don't you think it might be better if, instead of a hook, I don't know, maybe with something like a knife or a blade or something, you know? Oh, uh, oh hold on. Oh, please, thank you. So oh. if it w I'm sorry about that. So, uh, you you want me to you want me to create a prosthetic blade for Boozer? Well, yeah, I just thought I might cheer him up, make him feel you know more of a. You want me to weaponize Boozer? I wouldn't put it that way. I'm just fucking with you, Deke. I think uh, it's a great idea. Uh, I will go check some parts, and I will radio what I need. Cool? Okay. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Deke. Hey, Deke. Can I ask you something? Could I stop you, Blair? Could I? <laughs> no. I heard there was a big fight between Schizo and Iron Mike. What's going on? Do you know? I mean, I hear things like Schizo wants to take over the camp. That's messed up. Just look, don't believe everything you hear, okay? You'll stay sane that way. Okay. Okay. Hey, Deke. Um, you be careful out there. Got good shit in stock today. I was in my classroom when, uh, you know, I taught English, Shamal Community College, to a bunch of stay at home moms.
like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. All right, okay, let's go.